if you can establish canola, you're 80% of the way there to having a reasonable crop. And, and the biggest issues come when people have, you know, when people struggle to get good establishment in their canola crops. First rule is make certain you pick the right paddock. Um, if you're going to grow a canola crop, you really want to pick, pick a paddock that's got uh, pretty good levels of nutrition. The sort of paddock you, you would think you would grow a very good wheat crop in is a, is a really good paddock to start growing a canola crop in. Weeds aren't a huge issue um, with establishment, but if you've got a relatively weed-free paddock, that's obviously a better option than if you're really pushing canola into quite weedy paddocks. We're growing canola after pasture as the first crop because it's a really good cereal disease break crop or we're growing it after a legume. Now a lot of people are growing canola after a wheat crop because they're getting much better broadleaf weed control in their wheat crop. You really need to make certain you don't have too much stubble um, there with your canola crop um, to make certain that you do help, help it get out of the ground as, as well as you can. People now are using wider row spacings and stubble retention and they're using offset seeding from, from year to year so they're sowing in between the cereal rows and that, that works fine but just make certain that you're actually getting your canola seed into, into reasonable moisture and, and you're not having too much stubble there right around the, where in the seeding row. The sort of soil conditions we need for establishing a canola crop, if you're going to dry sow you have to make certain the soil is very dry so you don't start getting some seeds germinating. A lot of people now do dry sow their canola and, and I've got no major problem with that but you're really relying on having a decent rain coming to, to get a germination. If you sow when there's only partial moisture there you're going to start some seeds germinating and others not and Victorian Mallee for the last two years they've had very patchy establishment because of some parts of the paddock having enough moisture for germination and others being way too dry. What rate canola runs from one year to another can vary significantly so really check what seeding rate you're using. So um, if you can into good moisture at about uh, one to two centimetres deep and really keep a, a good eye on insect pests and other pests on the crop as it's coming up because it's very easy to lose a canola crop from something incredibly simple um, you know, it used to be red-legged earth mite, but now it's a lot of these other issues like earwigs and millipedes and things like that. So you just have to get out and inspect your crop to make certain you're having you know, good, um, good control of those pests. It's too risky. We're losing too much by having very poor establishment in our canola crops. Canola does compensate very, very well for, for thin crops, but thin patchy crops can cause a lot of management issues later on.